Hello again, boys and girls. Today we are going to learn about things that are a little creepy, a little crawly. Can you guess what they are? Well, it's all about insects. And at the end, I've got a secret to share with you about something bees make. Did you know that there are way more insects on the planet than any other group of animals? Scientists will tell you that insects are the largest and most diverse group of organisms on the earth. Wow, isn't that incredible? But what are insects? Insects have three parts to their body, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. They have six legs, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. They have compound eyes, which help them to see all around them, and they have antenna. In some cases, insects also have wings. The head is at the front of the insect, and this is where the mouth, antenna, and eyes are. The thorax is the middle of the insect, and this is where the legs are joined to the insect. If the insect has wings, this is where the wings would be too. The abdomen is the back section of the insect. So let's think of some examples of insects. Well, hmm, I think an ant is an insect. What do you think, boys and girls? Do you think an ant is an insect? Let's have a look. Does it have a head? Yes. Does it have antenna? Yes. Does it have a thorax? Yes. Does the ant have six legs? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it does. Does the ant have wings? Well, no, this one doesn't. But remember, not all insects have wings. Does the ant have an abdomen? Yes, it does. Yay! So an ant is an insect. Wow, that's amazing. Hmm, what about, let me think. Oh, I've got one, a bee. Is a bee an insect? Well, let's have a look. Does it have a head? Yes. Does it have antenna? Yes. Does it have a thorax? Yes. Does a bee have six legs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it does. Does the bee have wings? Yes! Does the bee have an abdomen? Yes, it does. But stay away, because this is where the sting is. Yay! So a bee is an insect. Bees really are amazing insects, boys and girls. They collect pollen and make honey. Mm, I've got another one. Is a spider an insect? Let's have a look. Does it have a head? Well, sort of. Does it have antenna? No. Does it have a thorax? Sort of, but it seems like the head and the thorax are one. Does the spider have six legs? Well, let's check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it has eight legs. Does the spider have wings? No. Does the spider have an abdomen? Yes. So is a spider an insect? No, it's not, boys and girls. Let's try another one. Uh, is a fly an insect? Let's have a look. Does it have a head? Yes. Does it have antenna? Yes. Does it have a thorax? Yes. Does the fly have six legs? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Does the fly have wings? Yes. Does the fly have an abdomen? It totally does. So boys and girls, a fly is an insect. Here's a little song to help us remember the parts of an insect. Are you ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. And eyes and mouth and antenna too. Six legs and that's an insect for you. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, 
pit, thorax, abdomen, abdomen and eyes and mouth and antenna too. Six legs and that's an insect for you. Where do insects live, boys and girls? Insects live all over the world. They can survive in almost any place where food is available. For instance, insects can be found in cold regions, hot rainforests, deserts, mountains, caves and fresh water. A few kinds even live in salt water and some even live in your house. <laughs> Some other examples of insects are butterflies, moths, beetles, dragonflies, mosquitoes, ooh, grasshoppers, silverfish, cockroaches, and wasps. Most insects hatch from eggs, but there are a few kinds that are born live. Some insects are born in the same form as they will always stay, but they do grow during their life. These insects have a hard covering called an exoskeleton, and the exoskeleton doesn't grow, it falls off as the insect grows, and the insect then grows a new one. This process is called molting, until eventually it is an adult. Grasshoppers, cockroaches, and beetles are some examples of this. Then there are some insects that completely change. They are born more like little worms called larvae. They go through a process called metamorphosis, what a wonderful word, boys and girls, metamorphosis. And then they look completely different when they are adults. Some examples of these are moths, bees, flies, and the beautiful butterfly. Many insects are helpful to humans and animals. Some kinds eat other insects that are pests. Insects are also food for other animals. Some insects produce valuable products such as honey and silk. Some insects, like ants and bees, live in groups and are very well organized. Each ant or bee has a job to do for the whole group. Like with the bees, there is a queen bee and worker bees and what is known as a drone bee. The queen bee's job is to lay lots of eggs and she also produces a chemical smell to control the colony of bees. The drone bee is a male honey bee and has no stinger. The worker bee is the female bee whose job is to fetch pollen and nectar and to make honey. The worker bees are very, very busy bees indeed because they do all the work in the hive and they control most of what goes on inside the hive. Their jobs include housekeeping, feeding the queen, drones and larvae, and making the wax. I would encourage you to learn more about bees. They really are amazing little insects and so important for our ecosystem. Here's the secret I told you about at the beginning of this episode. Did you know that if honey is stored properly and no water is added, honey will never go bad. It can last thousands of years. How amazing is that? We've learned about the good insects, but there are also some bad insects. These are known as pests. Some of these pests bite or sting people and animals, and some spread diseases. And then there are others that destroy and eat crops, wood, carpets, and clothes. Insects are fascinating, and I really hope you learned something today. Remember, an insect has three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. It has six legs, two antenna, and sometimes it has wings. If you enjoyed learning today, why not subscribe and hit the bell so that you will know when there's a new episode of Mackie out and you can be the first of your friends to watch it. When you next see your friends, tell them all about insects and what you learned. See you soon, boys and girls. Keep learning and always be kind to one another and nature. Bye.